In this video, we investigate the effect of using weighted values for the data in a regression equation. And we will use the linearized equation for an exponential radioactive decay by plotting the logarithm of the radioactive count log n against time t. Starting with the radioactive count values in column b, we take the natural logs of each value in column B to get the log values, copying this down for all of the data values. And we can use statistical software to perform the regression equation of log n plotted against t. And in this we will be assuming each data point has the same experimental uncertainty. And if we do that, which is using unweighted values, we get a slope of minus 0 0.531 with a standard error of 0 0.039, which when we multiply by a t value of 2.78 gives a 95% confidence deviation for the slope of 0. 1, 1. However, aware that the uncertainties in these data points may not be the same, we now seek to estimate their relative uncertainty. And we do this by assuming that the uncertainty in each count value follows a Poisson distribution such that the uncertainty in the count n will be given by the square root of the value of that count, root n. So we can calculate the uncertainty in each count value as simply being the square root of the count value in column B, giving uncertainties in the count values. But we need to estimate the uncertainty in the logarithm of this value. And we estimate this by taking half 0.5 of the difference between the upper logarithmic value of the count plus its possible uncertainty in D2 and then minus the lower value of the logarithm of the count but minus its possible uncertainty in this case in D2 giving us a value for the uncertainty in the logarithm for the first data point of 0 0.1. We then copy this calculation to perform the calculation for all the other data points and we see immediately that the uncertainty at the start of the decay of 0.1 increases significantly to an uncertainty of 0.43 and we can plot these on the attached graph showing the increase in the relative uncertainties. We now need to convert this uncertainty into relative weighting values for each of the data points. And these weighting values will be equal to 1 over the uncertainty squared. These are relative values which we will copy down. So this means that the first data point has a, a much greater weighting than the last data point. It is then possible to use statistical software to redo the reg regression calculation but include the weighting values for each of the data points and we get a slope of minus 0 0.488 with a standard error of 0 0.026 which translates to a 95% confidence deviation of 0 0.07. The slope is slightly less than before, but this will be partly due to the fact that the, with the weighted data, the point at t equals 5 has much less influence because of its greater uncertainty and will not have the effect of steepening the slope with respect to the line through the other data points.